Trace, I, I don't know if you had a chance to see Kofi last night. Uh, it was kind of a dominating performance. He's, he's coming in on a high. You faced him a few times before. Um, knowing his tendencies a little, uh, how much are you looking forward to that matchup and, and what are going to be some of the keys uh, to kind of contain him and slow him down? Most definitely. Um, Kofi's a great player. Obviously, last night he had a great game. Um, I was surprised Wisconsin didn't double him. That was a little weird to me. But um, there's certain things that he likes to do um, that we're going to take away from him. We're going to throw different bigs at him. Um, hopefully, I can use my quickness and my athleticism to try and slow him down. So that'll be a big game. But it's going to be a big game, not only for me, but for my teammates as well, because Illinois in general, they're shooting the ball really well from the three as well. So especially with Plummer and uh, Frazier. So we got a lot of they got a lot of key pieces that we got to slow down, but he's probably the biggest factor. Tom Brew. Trace, you've had a lot of success offensively against Kofi, though, too. What the, when you look at, at what they're trying to do to you, what, are there certain things you look for to try to take advantage of? Um, yeah, I'm going to have to use my quickness, especially against him. Try to go around him laterally, um, lots of rips. I think we're going to try to do some ball screen stuff of that nature, try to force him out of the paint a little bit. So we're just going to try to see what works the best and then probably stick with whatever whatever's working for us. Dustin. Hey, Trace. Um, how have you seen X evolve as a player uh, in the course of this season? How have you seen his game change and just how just important has he been to kind of add another dynamic to what you guys do on both ends? Um, X has been playing with a lot of just tenacity. Um, he's been playing super hard. And then um, I think he feeds off of uh, the crowd's energy. I think he feeds off of the negative energy as well. I think he uses it as something to prove to himself. So that's been really big for us, but he's been playing some really good ball, um, finding the right, finding the right like play and with his teammates, um, knowing when to score, knowing when to pass. So we're gonna have to need that from our point guard. And he's turning into a real leader, especially with the younger guys. He's trying to lead them and get them in position. So he's running our offense and that's something we need from him. Mike yeah, hey, Trace, I've noticed some post-game locker room things with you where you're, you know, you come up, you put your arm around Christian, you're, you're, you're writing the other team's name on the board, even just minutes after the, the last game just ended. I, I guess how, how much of a, is that just you just wanting to really take this team and lead it to, to you know, to the NCAA tournament? Yeah, that's, that's always, next game mentality is always on our mind. And then with Christian, um, Christian's someone that's, He's, he's been through a lot with his two years here. So just seeing him be able to go out there and just play, play freely, and just be able to just hoop. I know he's been waiting to do that for a long time. And so I'm proud of him. I just want to show him a little love because I know he's been struggling a little bit lately, but finally having a little breakthrough and hopefully he can build off of that. Keegan. Hey, Trace. I just talked to Miller and he said that some being this team so special defensively is taking your matchups personally, keeping your guy in front of you and not letting them score. Is that something that gives you a little extra push? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. I think a lot of guys, coach, coach is always talking a little trash about this person going to do this to you. I think some of the guys take it personally. And so, but I also think our help defense is really well. Our, and we get out, especially the last two games have been really well and teams haven't been able to shoot the ball very well on us. So and we're having driving lanes for kicks. So I just think that's something that we're going to have to continue to build on because the last two games, our defense has been really, really well, good. So. Pigs. Hey, Trace. Um, <clears throat> Jordan's minutes have gone up quite a bit here in the last uh, couple of weeks. What, what are the two or three things that he's starting to do better or to kind of get that playing time up? Um, two or three things that he's been doing good with. I think even better than he has before is rebounding. I really think that he's been attacking the glass, um, getting balls at the highest point. Um, another thing I think offensively is um, his confidence is really high. Taking that short, short little mid-range jumper, uh, he's been cashing it. And then defensively, just going after balls and um, blocking them off the glass and doing stuff of that nature, just bringing that energy off the bench. And he can, just continues to do what he's doing. He's going to earn himself a lot of minutes. Tyler Tackman. Hey, Trace. I uh, hope that you're doing well. Um, I know Race has talked about you guys' friendship um, off the court. 
um, earlier. I, is there any memories that you can share that just kind of speak to your guys' friendship overall? Um, me and Race have, have a lot of memories. Um, some probably shouldn't be said on here, but some other ones um, I can think of. I think one of my favorite ones with Race, we, we like to play we like to play COD a lot, Call of Duty. So we do that um, probably, we used to do that every day, especially during the off season. But um, we'll, we'll just hang out together, watch games, watch film, do stuff and just always be with each other. But he's been with his girlfriend a lot lately. So I've been kind of pushed to the side, but it is what it, it, is, what it is, I guess. So. Tom. Trace, you guys had pretty rough grind there for two, three weeks, playing basically every third day or so. And now you've had a little bit of a, a little bit of a gap from last Saturday to, to this Saturday. Is has that kind of helped a little bit, kind of getting your legs fresh again, and just kind of uh, been able to maybe kind of recharge a bit? Yes, most definitely. Um, just those sixteen days, not having an off day, just continue, just keep them playing and playing. I just think it was kind of wearing down on some of our guys. So just having a little bit of time off, just to get our legs under us. Um, get up and down a little bit against each other again. I think it's been good for us. So um, hopefully we can do that. But then I think we're itching to play again. So hopefully we come out with high intensity for the game on Saturday. Dustin. Trace, how do you think um, Trey Galloway's changed what you guys can do on defense? How much better of a defense do you think you are based on what he's been able to do, especially taking on some of those higher scoring two guards? Yeah, something with Trey is that he plays with such a high energy all the time. And um, he's he's really, really good at blowing up screens and not letting his man get the ball. And um, it's crazy because he looks he doesn't look as big as he actually is. He's he's all six five. So he's sometimes guarding players that are six three, six two, but he's so quick that he stays with them. So it's something that just gets gets him on the floor like with his energy and how he plays and stealing the ball and then when he's out in transition um he he can score on anyone so it's really big for us and our team last question tyler trace i don't know if this is kind of oversimplifying it a little bit but kind of going off of the uh like the, the teammate question before is you know why why is like being a good teammate important to you like why why is that something that you want to take responsibility of well, the way that I look at it, my high school coach once told me that great teams have great teammates. And so that's something that's always stuck with me. And um, if you're a great teammate, hopefully you can spread that energy across the board. And um, if you're all playing for each other, instead of playing for something else, then you're gonna have a really good team. When, whenever teams are, aren't playing selfishly and they play for each other, they, a lot of good things happen. So that's the way that I think about it.